To you, my colleague. Over to you, my colleague. Well, thank you very much, uh, Flo. Indeed, uh, for the past uh, three hours, our teams have been on the ground uh, with you there. We continue with our rolling coverage. Uh, good evening. I'm Chris Alder Lewis. Thanks indeed for joining us here for a full view of uh, the day's events. As prepped for tonight, as we're edging closer for the Ukuchalwa Kwengonyama Yesis with Samazulu, King Goodwill's Wilitini Kapeg Zulu, that of course uh, will be a private ceremony, as you've heard, attended by a select few male members of uh, the royal family and uh, Ababuta who are the Zulu warriors. We saw earlier many people lining the streets uh, uh, paying their last respects also lining outside of course uh, uh, where uh, the remains of uh, uh, the departed king have been taken the last minute opportunity to meet uh, with the royal family as well and pay their last respects. Uh, the body of course of his majesty king uh, Goodwill Zueli Tinika Beg Zulu uh, arriving from the local mortuary to the uh, Kwaketum your royal palace, the home of the departed monarch, and that was also the home of his father. I'm not alone tonight. Joining me for tonight's broadcast, SABC News anchor Tabiso Sitole and uh, SABC political editor Muswandile Mbeje. Shandu Jobe, good evening. She thanks indeed for joining us uh, this evening. I'll start with you, of course. Uh, we could see uh, Tabiso from um, the pictures on our screens this afternoon. F if not thousands of people lining the streets to pay homage mm. uh, to the departed king. Mm. Uh, clearly significant of, of, of where we are now. Indeed, Crystal, and maybe before we continue, Ngichi, Nina Besuilo, Sikala and Naira, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Sinam Gelugushalilo to the full view on SABC News channel. Gusilo, Nje, Isilo, Sikoteme, Isilo, Samazulu, Isilo, Sabantu, Bonke, Mzwan Lembeche, Bafo. It's a, an interesting day. Um, the landscape uh, in Ingism Africa has changed. The political land space has changed. Abaya Bantu Bangati Isilo, Samabandla, Siye, Umuntuwe, Politiki, Katlegatle, Ukosi is political in a way. It is what it is. And it's interesting how we've seen, as we Chris Helder, Ashwood, that we've seen, that we've seen, that we've seen, so what it means is that um, uh, we are soon to turn a new page. Uh, because what, what has been happening today, uh, we are basically finalizing the last chapter. And you and I and many of us mm. so have never witnessed this. This last happened in 1968. I mean, most of us uh, who have been around uh, can only remember one king, yeah. and one king alone, King uh, Kudril uh, Zolitin Gapegu Zulu. Yeah. Um, but this uh, marks a very interesting uh, history or mm. situation. I know that... Uh, as we are preparing to lay him to rest this evening uh, to as it's said uh, in Isizulu. Actually, there's no proper English mm. uh, word that describes it. Because, you know, when they say Ujala, Ujala is to plant. Yes. So, basically, the reasoning behind is that as we lay the king to rest, so then the seed will germinate. Yes. Because as soon as uh, the king is planted, so a new king yes. at some point uh, will be announced. Indeed, uh, Babu In fact, the educational process of tonight is what Mzwanle um, and myself are here for, Criselda. We'll try and take our viewers through the, the intricacies of what exactly today was about, in particular with Wucha Logengosi and the way forward. But with that, I'm going to hand back to you to Criselda because I know you've got some headlines before we carry on the program what tonight's show thank you very much uh, job as well as you shandu we know that you'll be joining us uh, throughout uh, the rest of uh, the program and indeed uh, we will be unpacking that speaking to a historian from the university of kwazulu natal very shortly let's start with your headlines the body of the Amazulu King Goodwill Zuelitini has arrived at the Kwaketom Tandayo Royal Palace in Kwanogoma in northern KwaZulu Natal. In other news, the police officers who were suspects in the killing of Mtogozi Sintumba during last week's student protest made a brief appearance before the Johannesburg Magistrates Court today. 
Judgment has been reserved in the legal battle to unseal President Cyril Ramaphosa's CR17 campaign financial statements.